Hey guys, just doing a quick tutorial for you here. Basically, what I'm going to do is show you how to get any vocal that you have or any sort of clip that you want to move from its normal BPM into a BPM of your choice. So, for example, I've got um, a Bruno Mars a cappella because it's quite a low BPM, which will show you the most effective way to get it into the right BPM. So, basically, what you first want to do is you want to set up the speed that you want it at. So say I want to run this track at 125 BPM. Then you first do is you set it at the top here in this main tempo part here, right? Okay, cool. Next thing you do is you find out what the original tempo was. So for example, if you find your track, you go Bruno, Mars, just the way you are, BPM, put that in. And then find out what the BPM is of this track. So sometimes you have to figure out I'm looking around at what most of them say, and 109 BPM is the original track speed, okay? So, remembering that, what we do is we go back into the track here, okay, so you've got the entire track which is still running at 109 BPM, but the FL Studio is set to 125, so if you play the metronome and put it in from the start, way out of tune. So what we'll do is we'll just set this up to its perfect timing if it was on time and just play that again for you. See how it's just out of time and it's not going to fit up respectively to the right amount of bar length. So because you see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, really this should be moved over to about here. So what you want to do is you want to click on the top left corner of the vocal track there, just click that, and then you want to move down to fit to tempo, click that. Then what you want to do is type in the BPM, and you just put in 109, like we have found out through uh, using Google or any of your searching engines and make sure this is set to your tempo that you wanted at and then just press hit enter. Uh, it's going to decode it and then it's going to stretch it for you so we'll wait for that to go through. Right there we go so you see how that's now changed the length of the track and how long it is. Best part about doing it this way is it doesn't affect the pitch it just runs the track at right, the right speed so just make sure this is nicely set up and we'll play that again. Her eyes make the stars look like they're not shining Her hair, her hair falls perfectly without her trying She's so beautiful See, it fits in perfect timing So you can do this with any of your tracks So if you had anything which was like maybe 1 or 2 BPM out Or if you wanted to run the track slower than what it originally was Or faster, for example, if you wanted to use a house vocal for a drum A drum and bass or a dubstep style track You could simply set it to the right BPM here that you want, say if you want to go up to 170 it's obviously going to make the track sound ridiculous but just say, let's go one, so oh, now we'll go, we'll go, we'll go 150 and then you just do the same thing here, set the tempo and type in 109 again that's going to stretch it well in this case it's going to shrink it to the right speed and there we go, so we play it again Her eyes, her eyes, make the stars look like they're not shining. Her hair. See, obviously, that sounds, you know, pretty ridiculous, but if you've got a track which is, say, you know, 10 to 20 BPM out and you want to shift it, it actually works out pretty well. So, you can also use a lot of slower tracks, which are like from some slower pop songs, and you can make great remixes out of them in, you know, 120 to 130 BPM speed. So, if you like this tutorial, just um, hit like and subscribe for some new tutorials that are going to be coming out. I'm looking to do some sort of more dance style of each or any sort of tutorial that you guys are after. So yeah, hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much.